Today we're going to talk about the top five mistakes people make when buying Lego as an investment. Number one, don't buy on release day. It's very common for people to want to get the set the day it releases. But it is actually the worst time of all. And you have to wait in very long lines. And sometimes, even after waiting in that line, you never even get the item. If you are successful in getting the item, and it's a set such as one of the modular buildings, you could have to wait on that set for up to five years before it actually appreciates enough in value for you to sell it and make some money back off it. It's always best to wait until the set is about to retire before you make that investment. Which brings us to number two. Always look for deals. Don't pay full price for a Lego set. If you're buying it as an investment. There are tons of websites that are dedicated to nothing but showing you how to save money and also keeping you up to date on when a set is going to retire. The best time typically to buy a set is right before retirement because usually they will get put on sale both on lego.com and even in stores. Some other great times of year to buy sets, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, but the best after New Year's. At the beginning of every year, stores start cleaning house. They want to get all the old products off the shelves and out the door. So they start deeply discounting just to make room for the new products for the new year. So to get the best bang for your buck and be able to buy as much Lego as possible for an investment, wait till they're on sale. Number three, diversify. I say this not so much that you have to diversify and buy all the different themes that Lego offers. But you don't want to put all your pennies in one basket and just invest into one set. When I was doing it as an investment, I would buy sets out of every different theme. Sometimes you get a loser, sometimes you get a winner. But either way, by diversifying, the chances of you having a loss are a lot less than if you just purchased one set in a large quantity. Some of the best sets you can buy, modular buildings, themed sets like Star Wars and Disney. But the best thing you can do is number four, know your sets. You know your sets, you're always going to buy a money-making set for an investment. Here's what I mean. The reason most sets appreciate in value is because they either have a rare part, print, or minifig that will never be produced again. Obviously, you can't tell the future, but if a set comes out and it has a brand new part in it, chances are that's gonna be a collectible set. To give you some examples, look at the Green Grocer. There's only been two sets ever made that had the one by two brick in sand green with the slot down the middle of it. And that right there is what makes that set so unbelievably valuable. The Cafe Corner is the same way. That particular set though is for a different reason. There are a ton of parts in that set that are no longer manufactured. That set came out during a big transition for the Lego company. And that transition was them going from out of their old standard parts to awesome new parts. Some of the most rarest parts in that Cafe Corner are the windows and the doors. All doors are now one by four by six. Or when that was made, they were one by four by five. Number five. As I said earlier, you should always buy sets on sale. But just because a set's on sale doesn't make it a good investment. Sometimes it's on sale just simply because nobody really wants the set. And that situation is not going to be a good investment because if nobody wants it now, chances are they're not going to want it later either. So if you're wanting to use Lego as an investment tool, make sure you do your research. Bricklink is a great way to do that. You can search any part and it'll show you from the year it started and stopped manufacturing. And it'll also show you how many sets it's available in, which is a really good key to knowing it's gonna be a valuable set. And have fun with your hobby. I know I do.